Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I did this crazy lines design. Um, this is inspired by a Robin Moses nail art design and I will definitely be posting the link to the video that inspired this look um, below. Um, she <laughs> does it much more sophisticated than I do. Um, but And I added a couple embellishments that she doesn't have in hers just because I used what I had. So the key to this look is use what you have and you can still create something awesome. For example, um, I'm using nail foils in my look. Okay, If you don't have nail foils, let me tell you, you can use stripers. You can use like a silver striper, a gold striper, whatever, you know. You can do like I did and I added some of these um, Sally Hansen extreme wear um, holographic confetti pieces this one's called in the spotlight uh, you could use a glitter polish like this that has little confetti pieces in it that would look really really cool as well play around with it this is really just to show you the technique and then um, it basically it's a design that anyone can do because everything is going to be you know whatever you have on hand will work and work fine so what I've already done with this nail right here is I've already put black on the tip now because I need to go over it again because my black was going on just a little streaky I'll give me a chance to show you what I did so I just took a regular black this is um, a sinful colors and instead of using the wide part of the brush I flipped it to the skinny part of the brush right and then I just pulled it like this just kinda flicked it around very jagged very haphazard nothing like precise it looks better when it is more random okay okay so my polish is dry and now I'm gonna be taking my nail foil glue if you're not using nail foils you can skip this step um, if you don't have nail foil glue um, they sell it on dollarnailart.com you can also get this um, stuff it's called the best glue ever. Um, Robin uses that a lot. I don't have any, so I'm not going to use it. But I'm just going to take my, just the brush, like she uses one of those thin nail art brushes, and that's fine, but um, I'm not going to use one of those. I'm just going to use the, the very side and very lightly with my brush, make little flicks of the glue. And I want them to be random and some of them to come up into the other part of my nail and <clears throat> after I get the first nail foil color on I'm gonna do this again with the second one so as the nail foil glue dries it dries clear you can see it starting to dry now like the two middle ones are already like disappeared which is kinda cool that one's starting to disappear you wanna take my first nail foil. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna start with fiber optic. Again, you can use whatever nail foils you want, or you can skip nail foils altogether. And I'm just gonna tap it on, and and wherever that foil glue was, it's gonna stick. Oh, that one stuck real good. Okay. And that actually looks cool just like that. But I'm going to take it a step further because I can't leave well enough alone in this case. And I'm going to lightly pull through some more glue going that way. Just really like super light touch on that. I barely touched it at all. Okay, and I'm going to take Ocean Mist, which is like a green and gold foil, and just kind of 
rub it and pull it up. So if you left it like that, it would look great. But I can't leave it like that. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is take my nail art stripers. Um, I find that if I don't put the top coat over the foil right away, it won't crack as much. So I'm going to use my pearly pink striper. And that's it. I mean, just like two quick little stripes of the pale pink. Even if I move my light, you'll be able to see a little bit better. And I want some of the color to go up in into this area, the nail. That's what makes it look really cool. There's not just like a straight line. Got my, my purpley iridescent striper. And just make some quick little lines. make them kind of random just like two or three on the purple so already it's shaping up and you could stop at any time and it would be awesome but again I'm gonna add more so this is like a pink pinkish red glitter striper and there just to add some pink prettiness to it, in fact. There we go. Alright. I know it's starting to look all jumbly and crazy. Black striper. I realize I've covered up almost all of my black background tip color. So just to break up some of this craziness, I'm going to add some black stripes. My black striper squeaks. So just pulling in some random black lines. And again, if you wanted to leave it like this, you totally could. But I am totally not. <laughs> now usually with these confetti polishes, they require like a ridiculous amount of coats to get any kind of coverage at all. So I'm going to just concentrate it on the tip at first. You can see it just deposits those little little shards of confetti onto the nail. And with the, these kind of confettis, I take my finger and just run it across the edge of the nail to make sure they're all flat. They're not like none of them are sticking out past my free edge. And now I'm going to apply it to the whole nail. Yeah, other than that, you're pretty much done. I follow up with a coat of my top coat, which I use Sachet Vite. Cap 
your edge and you're freaking done so that is my take on the Robin Moses nails I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you try it let me know and visit Robin Moses's um, Moses's visit Robin's um, page and show her some love and uh, all that good stuff so thanks again for watching have a great day bye